Welcome back to Crafting with Madam K. So I just showed a video on my new toy, the Craft, to the Craft Tool Pro um, hand press, and some of the features on how to put the diamond chisel set together, and some basics about using it. So now I'm going to actually show you how to use it. So I'm making this apron. So it's a very large piece of leather. Personally, I think that this works best on smaller pieces of leather because as I said, this doesn't, this wiggles and this can sometimes pop out because it's only held in by tension. It's not screwed in or um, using a pin and lock method. So I think that when using a very large piece of leather, it's a little more difficult. Um, a small piece of leather should be able to, to quickly, like stitching together a wallet would probably be more efficient with this. Whereas stitching together a very large piece, I find myself spending a lot of time trying to line up the leather on the line. So on this apron, I'm stitching together the pocket. Let's see. I'm stitching together the pocket. So I already stitched the belt. Well, I already punched the holes for the belt completely. So one thing is there's gonna, when you use large pieces of leather, you're gonna have a lot of leather behind the press. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll up the leather so it can fit in the back behind the pin. Now, it can come unrolled, but um, my husband actually had this great idea of finding a C-clip to hold it. So that basically looks like this, although this is a metal bangle bracelet. So a um, little hack there, don't have to buy a clip, just buy a bracelet and it holds the leather nice and rolled. So, I'm gonna put that on, and I'm gonna roll this up behind it. Let's see if the light's gonna work. Yeah, that's a little bright. Okay, so one thing I have is I definitely draw the line first. Always draw the line so you know where you're stamping. So I have my line and I'm just gonna slowly lower this until it's on the line. But what's happening here is it's angled. So I need to adjust it, and this is where it actually comes in handy that this is not permanently, um, that this is not secured in one adjusted spot because it's much easier to adjust this than it is to adjust this whole piece of leather. So once I have that adjusted to where it's lined up pretty good with my leather, Okay, now I'm gonna, gonna punch it. And it barely took any pressure to punch through. Now notice how the leather comes up with it. So I found that if you can put pressure down and hold it flat against the bottom, these slide up pretty well. If you let the leather come up onto it and then pull the leather down, you're gonna get some stretching in your leather or possibly your glue is gonna come off if you glued the piece down first, which I always recommend gluing the piece down first. And then you go to the next um, hole. Your first prong should be in the last hole. Line it up again. probably isn't as hard to line up as it is right now because of the angle that I'm going in at. And punch. Hold it down, let it come out. It's that pulling the leather out that sometimes is going to pop this whole thing out and you have to do that again. So it, it is pretty easy. I would recommend, again, you make your line first so you know what line you're following. Stand with this either on either in front of you if you have a short enough table or if it's going to be on your right or left side, put it on one of your sides and move the leather to where like you're moving it away from you like a sewing machine so you can see where the line is going, not where the line is coming from. So that way it's going to be a lot easier to line up. The first time I did it, I was pulling the leather towards me and I kept trying to like look on the other side to make sure all my um, prongs were lined up with the, the stitching line. So bring it towards you, you're going to have a better line of sight of where you're trying to put those prongs and line those up. So 
overall, it's um, it's definitely giving a very nice. I'll show you. I'll show you the belt. It's a very nice row. It was easier to keep my line straight, and they're very consistent. So, and it was quiet. I was able to do this while my husband was asleep. So there's the benefits to it. I still think that doing it by hand has its benefits also because it's a little quicker. It's easier to line up um, on the bigger pieces, but the smaller pieces, I think this thing's gonna save me a lot of time. So thanks for tuning in and having coffee with Madam K. It may not be the right way, but it's the Madam K way. Be sure to check out my next video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.